நாராயணம் நமஸ்கிருத்தி நரஞ்சைவ நரோத்தமம் தேவீம் சரஸ்வதீம் வாஜம் ததோ ஜெயம் வீரயத் ஜிதம் தே புண்டரீகாக்ஷ நமஸ்தே விஸ்வபாவன நமஸ்தேஸ்து ஹிருஷிகேஷ மகாபுருஷ பூர்வஜ சதக்ஷரம் பிரம்ம யயீஸ்வர புமான் குணோர்மி சிருஷ்டி ஸ்திதி காலசல்லய பிரதான புத்தியாதி ஜெகத் பிரபஞ்சசூஹு சனோஸ்து விஷ்ணுர் மதிபூதி முக்தி தஹ ததச்ச மத்தியம் அபேதி ஜந்துர் தைத்தியேஸ்வராத்மஜா பிரத்யம் திருஷ்யே அஸ்மாக்கம் பவதாம் தா மிருத்தனர்ஜன்மேத்தமோயம் தோபாதான வினோத்வாசாவத்து புனர்ஜன்மோபாதனம் சமஸ்தாவஸ்தகம் தாவது துக்கமேவ அவகம்யதாம் க்ஷுத்ஷ்ணா உபசமம் தத்வத் சீதாதி உபசமம் சுகம் மன்யதே பாலபுத்தித்வாத் துக்கமேவ ஹி தத் புனஹ Hiranya Kashipu calls for uh, Prakhlada and asks him what he has read, Kim Shikshita Mitav Purva Miti. And uh, Prakhlada says that uh, he has learnt Vishnu is the only tattvam in the world. Uh, so Hiranya Kashipu gets really angry and he tries to kill him. Um, the sons of Shukracharya come and tell him that we will try to give him, uh, don't worry, don't show your anger at this point. You are a... king you are not supposed to show your anger for all of these uh, small things so we will try to teach him iti punaha api gurukulam prakladah agachat tatra tu he gave uh, um, he was teaching the other asura balah the uh, other asura children about the greatness of vishnu and this is we are in the middle of the, the advice of prakhlada uh, the upadesham that prakhlada gives to the other children so he says mrityum abhyeti jantuhu pratyaksham drishyate cha etad asmakam bhavatam cha we all all of us see both us and you all have seen this every day that jatasya hi dhruva mrityuh and mritasya cha punarjanma bhave deva we are seeing this day in and day out and uh, this is been said in the agamaha also there is a shruti pramanam also for this so uh, uh, vina udbavaha na upadanam without any birth there can never be uh, a death so death and birth go hand in hand garbhavasam and uh, punarjanma and all of these states but yes it is accepted that jatasya hi dhruvo mrityu dhruvam uh, janma mritasya cha correct but what is why is it understood as dukham so he is trying to explain that even though there is birth and death that we see constantly it is associated with dukham just as how krut and trishna that is uh, hunger and thirst are also you see that it it goes down you pacify your hunger you pacify your pipasa thirst but then it only increases the dukham it again brings forth the uh, uh, expectation of what will we do when we have another uh, bout of hunger or another bout of thirst so bala buddhitvat we think that because of ignorance we think anything that satisfies our hunger anything that satisfies our thirst is sukham but it is it only comes within the realm of dukham because that sukham that we experience uh, uh, is only transient it only lasts for say two and a half hours the moment we are hungry we have some food and then after two and a half hours or three hours maybe four hours for some people some people five hours you don't know but that kshut again it gives you a dukham so the sukham we realize that it is not eternal for a child to uh, talk about bala buddhi imagine how much of a mature mind uh, prakhlada should have here antyanta stimitangaanam vyayena sukheshinam bhranti gnana avrata akshanam praharopi sukhayate he gives another very beautiful example of exercise antyanta stimita anganam sukheshinam vyayamen பிரஹாரா அப்படி சுகாயத்தே பிராந்தி ஜான ஆவிரத அக்ஷாணம் ஷஷ்டி விபக்தோ பகுவச்சனே வித்தியமான சப்தானம் தமனாதிகரண்ய ஜாத்தவியம் 
So, Bhranti Jnana Avrita Akshanam for those people whose Aksha, Indriyas, mind or eyes, uh, understanding is Avritam, is completely covered by Bhranti Jnanam. There is an illusory knowledge which covers their perception. They are unable to see anything properly. Such people who are also Sukhaishi, they want Sukham Ichanti, Sukham Vanchanti. So they want Sukham in their life. And their bodies are atyanta stimita anganam. They have made their body really strong by what? Vyayamena. With the uh, exercise, they have made their body really strong like a jada, jadi bhutaha angaha. What do they think? Praharaha api sukhayate. You torture the body through exercise and you think that that is sukham. Because it is going to help. See, this is an example that uh, the boy gives. It is not... Uh, uh, see, once you stop your exercise, you are not going to feel the same health benefits. You have to keep on continuously doing it so that you have that benefit. But at the same time, you are putting yourself through so much of trouble to experience a certain level of happiness, certain level of happiness which you think is the eternal sukham. If it was eternal sukham, then you shouldn't have, have to repeat it again. So he is going through all of those that you see in your life and you think illusorily that these are all eternal sukham and then slowly praklada brings you to the dehi, which is the atma, wherein lies your eternal sukham. So, atyanta stimita anganam, for those people whose bodies are really hard, uh, sukhaishinam, they want to sukham, bhranti uh, jnana uh, avrita akshanam, but their mind is completely avrita, covered by bhranti jnanam, by uh, uh, illusion, by false knowledge. They think vyayamena, because of vyayama, whatever prahara, whatever torture happens to this body, sukhayate, sukhameva acharati. They feel it is a good uh, uh, soreness. It's a common thing when you go to uh, the gym and you work out, uh, all your hands are feeling sore, but you feel it's a good pain. Advang, sukhayate. <laughs> Dukhatvena prasiddhe api ichaya anga praharadu sukhapramaha. This is uh, Shridhara Swami's uh, 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 Purupetika here. He says, or Avatarika, he says, Dukhatvena prasiddhe api, even though praharaha, torturing the body, in we, uh, it seems like it's a torture, but you, uh, there is a sukhapramaha there. You, uh, there is an illusory thinking that it is sukham. Kva sharira masheshanam sleshmadinam mahachayaha kva shkanti shobha saurabhya kamani yadayaha gunaha. It gives a two comparisons. You're looking at a body and saying that, oh, it is so beautiful. Kanti yuktam asti shariram iti. Kanti is uh, some luster. It has shobha. There is a beauty to it. Saurabhyam. It is smelling good. Kamaniyam. It is very attractive. Ityadayaha gunaha sharire vayam pasyamaha vayam vadamascha. We look at somebody and say, oh, like they're looking so beautiful. And there is a glow that comes out of their, uh, uh, you know, face. Uh, so we also think of attractiveness as another quality in a body. But what is this body actually made up of? Asheshanam sleshmadinam mahachayaha shariram. Shariram, the body is a great collection of everything that you can think of with disgust. This body is filled with that. Sleshma. Sleshma is mucus. So, no, as long as it is within the body, it is fine. Any discharge that comes out of the body, you keep think, you, you treat it as dirt. Yes, you treat it with disgust. So, what is this body actually made up of? It is only made up of very disgusting things. When you see it outside, you are not able to uh, appreciate it. What you see, so the body is actually made up of so many uh, um, uh, things that give you disgust and uh, so, 
ஜுகுப்சித விஷயானாம் சயஹா மகான் ராசிஹி இதம் சரீரம் க்வ வேர் இஸ் திஸ் பாடி விச் இஸ் ஃபில்ட் வித் த ஸ்லேஷ்மாதீனம் வித் ஃபில்ட் வித் மியூகஸ் ஃபேட் டிஸ்சார்ஜஸ் டிஃப்ரெண்ட் கைண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் திஸ் அண்ட் வேர் இஸ் த குணம் தட் வி ஆட்ரிபியூட் டு சச் அ பாடி க்வ காந்தி சோபா சௌரபிய கமனீயாதய குணா where are the qualities that we are trying to attribute to a body which is filled with only uh, uh, dirty things right so he is describing what are all there in the body mamsa asrik puya vit mutra snayu majja asthi samhato dehe chet pritiman moodha narake bhavitapi sah if a person has so much of liking towards a body which is filled with the mamsa flesh asrik raktam puya very uh, uh, fetid things that is pus and all that you know lymph and uh, those things vit mutra these are fecus and urine snayu id uh, 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 veins nerves uh, majja fat asthi bone samhatau dehe samhati is a collection of all of these things is present in this body so this body dehe which is a samhati which is a collection of all of these things asmin dehe yadi pritiman if a person has so much of liking towards a body which is filled which is only a collection of all these things then moodha ayam he is a he is a fool he should also have the same amount of preeti affection towards narakam also even in naraka you are seen there is flesh and blood and asthi everything present around you it is not decorated with apsarastri and honey giving flowers there right it is only filled with all of these uh, 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 disgusting things so if a person has so much of attraction and affection towards one's body which is filled with so so, so many things then narakam which is just a magnified version of what is there inside our body a person should also have an a, a, attraction towards narakam also narake bhavita api bhavita here is in luttalakara bhavishyati narake api pritiman bhavishyati he must have the same affection towards narakam also but we see that he does not have an affection towards naraka there so why should you have A, an affection towards this body which is like a microcosm of that narakam mamsa srit puya vinmotra snayu majjasthi samhato dehe chet pritiman moodho narake bhavita api saha agne shitena toyasya trisha bhaktasya cha kshudha kriyate sukha kartritvam tad vilomasya cha itaraihi what we think of as sukham and what we think of as dukham are very very relative they do not have any substance in uh, uh, by itself when we look at agni by itself is it a dukha karam or a sukha karam it is dukha karam so the moment we think of agni we think oh it is fire it is going to burn parantu when it is a cold season or you are in uh, antarctica or canada or somewhere like that agni will be a sukhakaram so agne sheetena agnehe sukhakartritvam sheetena because of cold uh, you find that there is a sukhakartritvam in agni agni agnihi sukhakarta agnehe sukhakartritvam vartate the quality of giving the quality of producing sukham is present in agni because of sheet sheetam cold uh, uh, weather so when you are in cold weather agni becomes a sukhakarta so everything that is there in shashti vibhakti should be taken in prathama as sukhakarta or you say that bhaktasya sukhakartritvam toyasya sukhakartritvam katham so water you think it is sukhakartritvam it gives you sukham 
but only when you are thirsty it gives you sukham there is something as drinking too much water all your nutrients will also go away right so only when there is thirst because of thirst we understand that there is a sukha kartritvam there is a quality of giving happiness in water otherwise water does not give you happiness when there is lots of water and you are sinking inside a lake then you understand that toya ha to sukha karta nasti iti right it does not give you sukha bhaktasya kshudha kshudha because of hunger bhaktasya annasya bhaktam is that which is been uh, produced and that which is been cooked is bhaktam annam so annasya sukha kartrutvam kada bhavati yada kshudh bhavati when we are hungry that is when annam rice will give us uh so come the moment you finish eating if i bring, come and give you another plate of uh, food you will feel nauseating when you look at that it is not going to give you sukha it will actually give you a jukupsa so uh, bhaktasya kshudha sukha kartrutvam kriyate tad vilomasya cha itaraihi so il, vilomasya itaraihi ittute tad vilomasya agni vil, uh, abhavasya itaraihi shita abhavena sukha kartrutvam bhavati so you just take the opposite of everything so when you shitadinam abhavaihi when there is no shitatvam agnehe टेक अग्ने दुःख कर्तृत्व तद्विलोम से अग्नियादीना दुख कर्तृत्व सो वाट हापन वेन देर इज नो कोल एंड यू आर इन अट डेसर्ट फयर इज गोयिंग टू मेक इट बर्न इवन मोर वेन यू आर वेन यू डू नाट हेव थर्स्ट एंड यू आर गिवेन वाटर that is going to make you vomit the same for annam also it is not a sukha karta but a dukha karta अग्ने शीतेन तोयस्य तृषा भक्त क्षुधा क्रियते सुख कर्तृत्व तद्विलोम से दुख कर्तृत्व इतर कौति कौति हे दैत्यसुता यावन्मात्र परग्रह तवन्मात्र सैवास्य दुखम चेतसी यछति हाउ मच एवर यू टेक इट इज गोयिंग टू गिव यू दट मच ऑफ दुख इन युअर मैंड हे दैत्यसुता sons of asura daitya sutaha yavan matram parigraham karoti yavan matram parigraham karoti how much ever you are going to accept it in your mind how much ever you take in those objects and attach your mind to those objects tavan matram it is going to give you that amount of dukham the more you are attached the more it is going to give you dukham because the separation will be even worse so ada patratran tal patrika patra is that uh, attachments that you have so as much as you develop a vairagya towards each and every object vairagyam is not going to come within one day you will have to start off with small small things that's why in those days when you go to kashi you don't give up uh, uh, vegetables that you hate you have to give up vegetables that you like not most of them will go to kashi and they are supposed to give up vairagyam bhavatu iti karanat tatra kashi gatva yat kimapi shakam so they they usually try to give up something which they don't like that's not the idea of that concept at all that concept is that you give up what you like so that you start practicing vairagyam in such a manner that slowly you can extend it towards other objects in the world or uh, uh, maybe a dress or food or whatever it may be so slowly you try to practice that uh, vairagyam yavan matram how much ever you have taken it and put it in your mind parigraham karoti tavan matram only that much not only that much tavan matram how much ever you have an attachment it is going to produce so much of dukham in your mind tavan matram saha asya asya janasya chetasi dukham yachati it is going to give so much of dukham in the mind yavata kurute jantuhu sambandhan manasah priyan tavantah asya nikhanyante hrudaye shoka sankavah no no i have an attachment only if i see the object ana tathana smarane vartate 
स्मरणे वर्तते इति चेत् तत्र हृदये शंकुवते तत्र खनितं भवति इट इस एम्बेडेड इन योर माइंड एज अ स्मृति इवन इफ यू आर यू डू नॉट हैव इट टुडे वी टॉक ऑफ सो मेनी थिंग्स इन अवर मेमोरी అన్నికి ఇంక అమ్మ సమచ్చ అబ్రీనే యు నో లాట్ ఆఫ్ పీపుల్ విల్ కీప్ సేయింగ్ దట్ హో మై మదర్ కుక్డ్ వన్ ఊర్లకంక కర్రీ ది పొటాటో కర్రీ దట్ డే అండ్ దట్ ఇస్ జస్ట్ ఇన్ మై మైండ్ ఫ్రెష్ దట్స్ బికాస్ యు హావ్ నాట్ లెట్ గో ఆఫ్ ఇట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ స్టిల్ దేర్ ఇన్ యువర్ మైండ్ లైక్ అన్ వి సే లైక్ అ నెయిల్ ఇన్ అ వెరీ టెండర్ ట్రీ యాజ్ ఇట్ గ్రోస్ ఇట్ బికమ్స్ హార్డ్ అండ్ అండ్ యు కెనాట్ రిమూవ్ దట్ నెయిల్ అట్ ఆల్ సచ్ ఇస్ మెమరీస్ ఇన్ అవర్ మైండ్ సో యావత జంతు ఎ పర్సన్ జంతు ఇతివక్త ప్రాణి ఎనీ లివింగ్ బీయింగ్ మనస ప్రియాన్ సంబంధాన్ యావత కురుతే దిస్ ఇస్ ఇన్ ద్వితీయ బహువచనం సో హౌ మచ్ ఎవర్ హౌ మెనీ ఎవర్ సంబంధ రిలేషన్షిప్స్ ప్రియ రిలేషన్షిప్ హీ హ్యాస్ నాట్ ఓన్లీ ప్రియం ఈవెన్ ఈవిల్ థింగ్స్ ఈవెన్ ఓ ఐ స్టిల్ హేట్ సమ్ వన్ ఫర్ వాట్ హీ డిడ్ సమ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ ఇయర్స్ అగో ట్వంటీ ఇయర్స్ అగో వి స్టిల్ హ్యావ్ సచ్ మెమరీస్ ఇన్ అవర్ మైండ్ దీస్ వాట్ డూ దే బికమ్ దే ఆర్ సంబంధ దే ఆర్ సమ్ అటాచ్మెంట్ ఇన్ అవర్ మైండ్ యావత జంతు కురుతే వీ మేక్ అన్ అటాచ్మెంట్ అండ్ వీ మేక్ ఎ సంబంధ విత్ దోస్ ఆబ్జెక్ట్స్ హౌ మెనీ ఎవర్ ఆఫ్ దోస్ సంబంధస్ వీ హ్యావ్ అస్య హృదయే ఇన్ హిస్ మైండ్ శోక శంకవ తావంత నిఖన్యంతే శోక శంకవ ద శంకు ఇస్ ఎ వెడ్జ్ ఆర్ అ నెయిల్ దట్ గోస్ అండ్ లాడ్జెస్ ఇట్ సెల్ఫ్ ఇన్ ద మైండ్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ నాట్ ఎ ప్రియం ఈవెన్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ ఎ ప్రియ సంబంధం దట్ వీ థింక్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ నైస్ అటాచ్మెంట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ యాక్చువల్లీ అ దుఃఖం దట్ గోస్ అండ్ స్టేస్ ఇన్ అవర్ మైండ్ even if it is nostalgia why do we say nostalgia not a memory because it has a little bit of sadness associated with it that we cannot go and relive that moment and see it pratyaksham so there is a sadness associated with it with memory so shoka shankava all of those relationships are uh, like small grief nails in our hridayam nikhanyante nikhanyante ityukte khanitani bhavanti they are lodged or buried inside our hridayam sometimes we even uh, certain things will make certain memories udbuddham which we thought we had forgotten but it would be there because we have been affected by those things so much so tavanta imagine there are so many different nails in our heart nenache patale konje bhayam mark Uh, very uh, it's a very hard hitting truth yavataha kurute jantuhu sambandhan manasaha priyan thavantaha asya nikhanyante hridaye shoka shankavah not a very simple advice yadyat grihe tan manasi yatra tatra avatishthatah nashadah apaharanam tatra tasyeva tishthati hard hitting truth na this is another shlokam yadyat grihe see we are traveling let's say we are traveling we are going away somewhere uh, we have closed down one house or we are going for vacation somewhere yadyat grihe tishtati parantu grihe there are a lot of things that are present in our house we have a smoke alarm we have a security alarm we have so many different alarms that we switch on when we go out of the house why because we are afraid of losing those things correct so grihe yadyad tishtati that is not actually in the griham it is in the mind of the person wherever he is standing yatra tatra avatishtatah manasi tat vartate so yadyat dhanadi grihe vartate tat sarvam yatra tatra avatishtatah for a person who is standing wherever he may be whether it is in the other corner of the earth it is actually those every little objects are in the mind of the person who is standing somewhere else he is not in his house in like it la theriyo every woman would know every corner of the house and where each even one spoon wherever it is in which drawer we will know 
because it is in our mind it may be in the house but it is actually in the mind we can even call remote call and tell our husband where that particular currency is i'm telling you because it's it's in our minds yatra vatra avatishthatah manasi vartate yadyat grihe now what is the okay let it be now what is the problem if something gets destroyed nashah daah apaharanam tatra tasyeva tishthati तस्यैव तिष्ठति इत्युक्ते तस्य धनादेहे यदि नाशदाह अपहरणं भवति व्हेन एनी ऑफ दोस थिंग्स आर लॉस्ट डिस्ट्रॉयड और समवन समथिंग इज स्टोलन व्हेन यू आर नॉट इन टाउन योर हस्बैंड ब्रेक्स अ जार यू कम बैक यू विल नो व्हेयर इट इज यू विल आस्क पर्टिकुलरली व्हेयर इज दैट पर्टिकुलर जार और दैट पर्टिकुलर कप बिकॉज़ यू नो व्हाट इज देयर Yeah, they cannot escape. That is why, because it is there in your mind. It is not in the object. You have placed an attachment to that object in your mind, and that is why you remember all of these things. And it is only dukkha karam. Ultimately, what happens? Why didn't you tell me? There will there will be a fight ensuing because of one small cup that was broken. Correct. So tasya dhana dehe. Where did a five-year-old boy, ten-year-old boy know all these things? Huh? It is just applicable even today. That's that is the greatness of these things. No? So yatha yatha grhe tathu manasi yatra tatra avatishta thaha tats tasya dhana dehe naasha daha apaharanam tatra ivatishta thi. The uh, it is. it is actually the truth is it the the nasham daha and apaharanam is present only there <coughs> in the house it is not but we feel it in our mind tasya manasi tu na jayate it is always present in the mind even if the cup is gone we will remember that broken cup for 20 years and we will keep blaming the person who destroyed it also right it is because it is uh, we should understand that it is not present in our uh, in the house and it is always present in our mind so we will have to remove that attachment only if we remove the moolam can we remove the dukham based on that le yadyat grihe tan manasi yatra tatra avatishthatah nashadah aparharanam tatra tasyeva tishthati janmani atra mahat dukham mriyamanasya cha apitat yatanasu यमस्य उग्रम गर्भ संक्रमणेशु च सो व्हाट आर ऑल द थिंग्स दैट इज महत् दुखम इन कंक्लूजन दैट इज व्हाट वी हैव सीन टिल नाउ अत्र अस्मिन् लोके जन्मनि देयर इज महत् दुखम इन जन्म देयर इज महत् दुख देयर इज अ ग्रेट सॉरो दुखम इन टेकिंग अ बर्थ मृयमाणस्यापि महत् दुखम इवन देयर इज अ दुखम इवन फॉर अ पर्सन हु इज डाइंग அந்த மரண தருவாயில இருக்கக்கூடிய அந்த துக்கம் இருக்கு பாருங்க யூ கேனாட் எக்ஸ்பிளைன் தட் மரண பயம் இட்ஸ் இட்ஸ் சம்திங் ஓன்லி பீப்புள் ஹூ ஹவ் ப்ராபப்ளி ஹூ ஆர் ப்ராபப்ளி கோயிங் த்ரூ இட் அண்ட் ஹூ ஆர் ஏபிள் டு எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் இட் இன் அ ப்ராப்பர் இன் அ வெரி கோஹரண்ட் மேனர் தே கேன் ப்ராபப்ளி டெல் யூ வாட் இஸ் தட் மரண பயம் ஈவன் தென் ஆஸ் தே ஆர் டைங் யூ தே கேனாட் எக்ஸ்பிரஸ் இட் சோ மச் If they are experiencing fear, so mriyamana sya api tatra shanaj prateha vartate continuous. So as he is dying, also there is a dukham because we see, oh, living is difficult. Let me die. But even when you die, there is a fear and there is a dukham when you die. Yamasya yatana su api when going to uh, yama yatana yatana itupte. Uh, uh, as you are walking towards uh, uh, yama or yama yatana can be the the pains that are inflicted by agony the dukkham that is given by yama in that also there is greater dukkham so from here assuming you are going to narakam then even there whatever papam you even if it is a little papam you are going to go to narakam and experience that papa uh, a phalan and then only you are going to think of something else so yamasya yatana su api mahat dukham ugram mahat dukham that is something which is even more cruel he says so ugram it is a more fierce dukham that you are going to experience in naraka or garbha sankramaneshu ugram when you enter a garbha 
as another new jeeva garbha sankramanam sankramanam is tra uh, 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 transferring from one shariram to another shariram when you are in the garbha even there there is great dukham that the fetus experiences so janmani atra du mahad dukham mriyamanasya chaapi tat yatanasu yamasya ugram garbha sankramanayashu cha garbhe cha sukha lesho api bhavadbhir anumiyate yadi tat kathyatam evam sarvam dukkamayam jagat if you think that there is even a sukha lesham there is a little bit of sukham garbhe in the garbha if you can deduce bhavadbhi anumiyate yadi if you are able to uh, detect uh, uh, even a sukha lesha even a little bit of sukham in garbha yadi asti tat kathyatam then tell me parantu evam sarvam dukkamayam jagat this jagat is filled with only dukkam tadevam ati dukkana maspade atra bhavarnave bhavatam kathyate satyam vishnu rekah parayanam so what is the recourse for this Uh, uh, spending time in this jagat which is filled with dukkham tad evam ati dukkha nam aspade bhavarnave bhavarnave asmin bhavarnave bhava eva arnah arnavah bhavah samsaraha this samsaram is like a an ocean and it is filled with ati dukkham ati dukkha nam aspadam bhava arnava this ocean of samsara which is an aspadam which is the repository which is the mine of uh, ati dukkham of great uh, sorrows bhavatam kathyate satyam i am going to talk to you about one truth which exists in this great samsara which is filled with dukkham what is that one truth vishnu hu ekah eva parayanam param ayanam parayanam one who is the greatest goal vishnu is the greatest goal that you have to strive for in this bhava arnava so pravrutti marge doshoktya viraktim utpadya utpadadya utpadya vishnu sevam upadishati so uh, uh, first he says that there is a dukham in pravrutti margam you are talking of kshut pipasa kshut kshu upashamaha pipasa upashamaha you are trying to uh, earn money anything that you do in this world which is called pravritti which makes you go towards the objects of the world away from the atma swarupam then that is called a pravritti marga there is so much of dosham in that pravritti margam so pravritti marge dosha uktiya having spoken about the different pitfalls in the pravritti marga viraktim utpadya the the moment i say all of these things you will immediately feel okay what am i doing i don't need to get attached to all of these things which is only dukham sarvam dukhamayam jagat ittukte tatra viraktihi jayate manasi utpadayati prakladaha asmagam manasi viraktim utpadayati he creates a virakti an detachment in our mind saying that there is a dosham in all of these pravritti margas so then what is the conclusion once you have a virakti then your mind is ready for vishnu seva so vishnu seva upadishati from the next shloka he talks about vishnu and how you should worship him okay tadevam ati dukhanam aspade atra bhavarnave bhavatam kathyate satyam vishnu rekam parayanam narayanam namaskritya naranjeva narottamam devim saraswatiyam vacham tatho jayam udireyet